everyone welcome back again so guys this is natural talk sh with mary Rai. so on i say ever since they've been talking about viral abuses and um for today's topic now parental abuse you know we're talking about viral abuse say it is broad so on this very topic today now parental abuse that they talk about so guys i would like mona stay tuned mona listening on her parents because when you're born, you go the abuse and sometimes you don't even know that you're abusing that child, you understand? You don't even know you're building some impact in that child. In short, guys, listen to everything they said in this video and please drop your comment on the comment section. Thank you guys and God bless you. Hello everyone, welcome to True Talk with me Rahim. <laughs> Today we have here with us Fatima Akubo. So today's topic, we'll still be talking about verbal abuse, but today it is going to be parental abuse. And if you remember in my previous video, I said verbal abuse is when someone uses insults or words to talk to someone or they belittle someone, manipulates them, making them feel less or worthless about themselves. So Miss Fatima, I'll be asking you some questions concerning parental abuse. Now, the first question is, how can verbal abuse at home affect a child's friendship and interactions with others? Okay, verbal abuse can affect a child's friendship with people outside, both okay. physically and emotionally. It's going to affect the, the adults too, yeah. because the child may generate low self-esteem, the child might not be able to socialize with people, the child may even fall into depression. How does harsh criticism from a parent impact a child's feelings and behavior? You say criticism is not the problem, it's how you go about it. Most parents, the way they criticize their children is so unfair that they will not be able to socialize with people. Mm -hmm. You know, they will, they will have this fear of, ah, their opinion is not needed. And it's not right. How can verbal abuse affect a child's ability to handle stress and challenges? Verbal abuse can affect the child's ability to handle stress and challenges because the child is always misunderstood. And that fear of not being able to you know, speak to people because he or she doesn't know how people will react. You have a child? Not yet. Okay, you're not married. Not yet. All right. How can a child tell the difference between helpful advice and awful comments? Yes, there are some children that are very outspoken. Yeah. Especially the children of these days. And um, I want to give an example of a child that is staying with the parent, the one that's not staying with the parent. Because you don't know that they're not staying with the parent, sometimes they are not very outspoken. Exactly. Whatever thing that you do to them, they just want to be there, they want to obey you, they want to listen to you. And you see those kind of children, they need love. Yeah. Children that stay, like your, your own child, a mm -hmm. child that stays with you. A child that is being brought up well, being trained well. Mm -hmm. They teach that child how to be outspoken. Okay, they tell you, ah, no, I don't like what this person is doing to me. Mm -hmm. It's how you train your child. Exactly. Yeah. I don't like how this person is doing to me. I don't like what this person is doing. Mommy, yeah. look at what Auntie Sandra did to me. Ooh, I like it. She bought me ice cream. Oh, she did my assignments for me. I feel people should, mothers should learn how to train their children at home, like when to speak up when they are, when things are not right or when they don't like some certain um, statement, they should be able to talk about it. What can society do to help a child who has been hurt by verbal abuse? So you see those type of children, what you need to do first is to love them, bring them okay. close, try to advise them properly and in a very different way. To summarize it all, I would advise if you are someone that is from a polygamous family, mind the words you use on your children. And as a man or a woman, you're always violent with your spouse and you know you're on that one roof with your children and your children witness everything that you are doing. Please be mindful of what you do in front of your kids. They are also learning from it or it is making them have this bad feeling or start hating people because there's a way you start behaving at home. When a child sees that you're always hurting the mother, the child starts to be aggressive for no reason. The fact that they don't even want to mingle with their own mates. They just want to be on their own. It can make the child also make up their mind that when they also get married, this is the way they are going to treat their spouse, which is wrong. Know what to do in front of your children. If you want to have an argument with your wife, try to send your kids out to get something so you don't do it in their presence. Ah, yes, let them just see that, oh, my friends, as they argue, they don't do this, they don't do 
things. But if you do that, then trust me, you're impacting a lot in the lives of your kids. And for what? When you're talking to your children, you don't have to always tell your child, I do crazy, I do this, I do that. No. You do not need to shout at them or use abusive words on them. Because the moment you start this at home, teachers can't do everything. When you send the child to school, you don't expect the teacher to teach the child what the child is supposed to learn at home. Teaching a child or training a child starts from home. Because most of the kids that are cold, that are proud, it is actually from their parents. Because they've seen how their parents react and some of them are not from their parents. Oh, me. Some children, they train them, but they do not take training from home. Why do they learn outside instead of the house? So, please, when you're training your kids or you want to talk to them, you want to scold them, know what to say to them. You don't need to insult them before correcting your child. Thank you for being here with us, Ms. Fatima. And um, I hope to see you next time. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Bye. All right, guys. So, hope you're able to, you know, learn something today and you enjoyed the topic. Thank you guys for watching. May I continue with the Yagidigba, with the your back, okay? Carry go, nothing do you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to my channel. To my old subscribers, I say thank you so much. My new subscribers, thank you so much. And please, guys, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do. Subscribe to my channel for more updates and also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload any new video. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you so much for your support. Please continue supporting your guests. See you all in the next one. And bye for now.